Hey guys, come in, welcome. Let me do some things here. Pin my site, number one. Pin my site. Let me invite some people that wanted to be invited. Hi, I'm just inviting some people. So if you're coming in, say hello. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. So if you're watching the playback, you can skip forward for about a minute and a half, I would say. Maybe even a little bit longer. What in the world? Okay. This thing's not going to work right today, so let's just say okay. Okay. Whatever it wants to do, right? So when you come in, say hi. Good, welcome to my video. Welcome to my video. Welcome to my video. <laughs> my name's Stephanie, and I'm an independent presenter with Unique. And everything you'll see here today is a Unique product. So, um... Please, when you come in, say hi so that I know you are here because otherwise it doesn't tell me. Give me about two seconds because my phone screen is a mess. I usually try to do all this like before I go live, but I must have missed a spot because it's, ooh. All right, so let's get started. Let's do something here, okay? So I just put on rose water. Rose water is a toning spritz that will even out your skin tone. Um, <clears throat> it also has a lot of other benefiting factors in it, um, and I can post all that for you. But it's, it smells like you're walking through a rose garden, so it's amazing at what it does for you. Um, I don't know why I feel like I'm lighting. That was the problem. I have this light that's kind of like you can move the... Um, globes on it I guess and so like it has expandable or movable um anyway you can move the globes so I was trying to move that and or I did move that earlier because I was working in here in my office and so I didn't turn off that bottom one and when you don't turn it off it's crazy because it just looks like you have this big glowing moon behind you you know what I mean so all right now I'm gonna get some um Beauty serum, some uplift beauty serum. And this helps to fill in fine lines and wrinkles and kind of help those dark age spots that we, that I'm definitely getting. I hate those. Sun and age spots here. Mm. I mean, I've got them everywhere. It just seems like that, like over in this area, is the worst than the rest of my face. Oh. So this beauty serum is full of nutrients for your skin. <clears throat> and it will soak right in. It's an oil based. So you're not, but it's not like you're putting, you know, we all think oily skin. Ugh, we don't want to deal with it. But this is not, this is essential oils that your body and face need, like your skin needs. So it's stuff that once you rub it in, it's going to sink right into your skin. <clears throat> it's going to help to um, bring all that stuff back to your face, like where, you know, we're going to uplift all of this stuff, hopefully. It's definitely gotten them lighter since I, oh Lord, since I've been using it. I'm just going to share this video to my personal wall real quick. How is everybody's Thursday going so far? Good Thursday, good Thursday. So far, so good. I slept in a little bit this morning, so I was pretty happy about that. Something that I've not been able to do recently. Why can I not share this? This is going to upset me. Seriously? Did Facebook update? I don't have a share option, like, on my uh, video anymore. 
I don't have a share option on any of my stuff anymore. That's so weird. So, so, so weird. Just going to send a quick message because I um, just want to be sure that I am... All right, maybe my upline will know something. Okay, so I put on that beauty serum. Now we're gonna we're gonna prime our skin. This primer is oh my, and you don't have to use very much. Like I literally, but this also helps to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's also acts as a barrier for your skin. So it's something that goes on between your skin and your makeup products. So it's gonna protect all your pores from all that stuff we're getting ready to put on so it prevents breakouts like I literally could not tell you the last time that I had a blackhead or like a breakout I used to have a issue with breakouts um, around here around my chin um, my nose I don't have that anymore. Hi, Krista. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, I don't have that anymore. And it's so nice. And I've contributed because I'm using good products. I'm using good makeup, um, you know, good skincare, and a primer. I mean, like, can we get this up for the primer? <laughs> Let me pin this real quick here. Pin in the site. There we go. All right, so let's do some makeup. Do some makeup. This is our liquid foundation, and you always, it's mineral based, so it's gonna have some water, it has water in it. Um, so you wanna squeeze out that dropper, shake it up real good, because it will separate, it's mineral. Um, and then, fill your dropper back up. Thanks for sharing, Krista. Thank you, thank you. And now I'm gonna use my liquid foundation brush to kind of pull this all together here. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, Lord. This foundation is so thin, like it's like rubbing water. My husband reminded me to do the things that I don't ever remember to say. So if you share my video, please put share in the comments because I do do a share drawing at the end of every week. Um, and I will be glad to enter that into, enter your name into the drawing if you share the video. And plus it helps me to build my network. It helps me to build my business. It just helps me. <laughs> How about that? Just helps me. All right, loves. So you can see that by taking the steps I just took, my face is looking almost kind of flawless, you know? And I don't know about you, but I never got this um, flawless look from any other makeup product. And I honestly was never like, I used every drugstore, Walmart, Target. I used all those crazy products because I was cheap. And I still am cheap. I'm a bargain shopper. So if you, um, I mean, if I go shopping, it's going to be because, like, I just don't, if I go shopping, it's because I need something. Like, truly need it. Um, I don't shop just to be shopping. 
Like I don't, my house is not decorated correctly because I don't spend money on those types of things. I never have. Um, my house is cute, but it's not like you're going to walk in and be like, oh my gosh, it looks so good in here. Okay, well, my house is cute, but I don't spend money on, I just never have. I'm not a big, um, I hate spending money, honestly. I hate it. And so I never spent money on makeup. Like I always just used what I could find and was cheap and did the job, basically. I've never used any kind of name, name brand or expensive makeup. I've never had a whole line of makeup until I found Unique. Um, because Unique has changed my life. Um, it, it literally gave me so much more confidence and helped me build my self-esteem so much. And I didn't even really realize it until my husband brought it out. He was like, or he mentioned it to me. He said, you know, you have been so different lately. And I'm like, uh, why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you just don't ever know. So I said, okay, what's wrong? And he goes, no, nothing's wrong. He's like, it's actually really good. And I'm like, okay, what? And you're like, Phew. you know? <laughs> it's back. And he said, you, um, totally, like, uh, you have more confidence. You're more... You have more self-esteem. You you more believe in yourself more. Like you can tell that you're just that you feel pretty. And he said the only thing that I can see is changed is your makeup. And this was before I started selling. Like I had just purchased like the foundation and um, like a eyeshadow palette and the mascara. Like I had just done all that. It was just a few things that I had, but it was making a difference. And I thought, you know what? You're right. I do love these products and I do want to make everybody in the world feel this. So I just started selling and the rest is history. And here we are. The rest is history and here we are. All right. So that was, that was the, um, setting powder. I used that to kind of set my my eyebrows. I was what I was getting ready to get with my eyebrow stuff. I used that to set my foundation. Where is my? Oh, there it is. I have a whole roll of the paper towels over here that just about bit the dust, and I thought, uh, uh I'm not pulling all those back up in here and trying to get them back on the roll. I did that the other day. Speaking of that, that's funny. I was in the kitchen and I had a roll of paper towels sitting on the counter because I was getting ready to change the roll, right? Um, the one roll had like, I don't know, two paper towels or something left in it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just grab this and set it over here and then I'll change it when it goes out. Girls, I hit that roll of paper towels like the wrong way somehow. It went off the side of my counter across my kitchen floor. And I'm like, is this serious right now? I had paper towels everywhere. So, of course, as soon as my cats and dogs hear the paper towel floor hit, roll hit the floor, they're like, oh, what's that? They come running. Paper towels going everywhere. Oh, my gosh. It was the biggest mess. The biggest mess ever. I had to sit there and roll those babies back up. Oh, just get on my nerves. Just he totally get on my nerves. So, I'm just using my spoilie. This spoilie comes on the end of your um, eyebrow pencil. So, if you use eyebrow pencils, um, let's see here. <clears throat> if you use eyebrow pencils, um, you will get a spoilie on the end of your pe pencil that you use here. Um, I mean, that if you get if unique. Most of the time, they come on them anyway. But, um, you will get those on the end. Sorry, I'm just inviting a few more people here. People that are on my team that I want to kind of be here. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know why I feel like I can't talk today. Like, I just am... Okay, so let me keep brushing these out. I always brush against the grain and then back down again. 
it seems to like my my brows will like that a lot like they just they lay a lot better if I do that so I'm just doing that brushing these out and then coming back in so if you're just joining or just watching my video, my name's Stephanie and I'm an independent presenter with Unique. Um, my the, Everything that you'll see here that I'm using is a Unique product. Um, they're all available on my website at the end or the pinned at the bottom um, on here. And if you're just joining, say hello so that I know that you are here. And I'm going to do my brows real quick. I like doing brows these days. Finally figured out my the secret to brows. And that is the brow palette. Or I like the brow pencil too. I just ordered one of those. Um, but the brow palette seems to be my rocking business these days. My jam. I'm just using a tinted eyebrow wax. To get everything to kind of lay in place. And then I will go back with, this is the eyebrow palette. Um, you can see mine is very used. I use it every day. But these are the two colors that you'll get. Um, this is the, um, is this light? Okay, it's blonde. Our pencils come in light, our Brow palettes come in blonde, brown, black, whatever. So this is blonde, but this comes, um, you get two colors. This is the wax, and these are two highlighters. I hardly ever will use that, I don't use that um, darker brown color. I always use this lighter brown. I think maybe you're supposed to... Um, supposed to use that darker brown like on the ends over here on the side but I don't ever do that because um, I just don't follow the rules I don't follow the rules in makeup this palette also is numbered so it like tells you um, so it like tells you what numbers to be using so like you have steps that you're supposed to be taking see the numbers up here at the top okay well I don't do it that way the wax is number five to me, the wax is number one. <laughs> and here's why. The wax will help to everything to kind of lay down. To me, I get a better um, overall of what everything's going to look like um, if everything's laying down like it's supposed to. It's also going to catch this color that I put on a lot better. So it will catch and it's very pigmented. So therefore, you don't have to use as much if that makes any sense. Um, you don't have to use as much, doesn't take as much of your time. You just kind of do its thing. Chicken way. Ignore me. Just ignore me. So you guys see this in my hair. This, um, like brassiness that I've got going on here. Yeah, well. I just got some purple shampoo because my wonderful hairdresser, Jessica, asked, told me I needed to do that because she said, you know, you're going to start getting, having some issues um, with this brassiness. So I was like, okay, I noticed it, but I didn't know what to do about it. So um, she told me, she's like, go get you some purple shampoo, put that on your hair, couple washes, you'll be good. I'm like, seriously? It's already starting to get better. Like this right here is already starting to get lighter. Like I'm so excited about it. I know Jess, I don't know what the problem is. I know Facebook did an upload last night or an update. Um, and I don't have a share button either. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I wish I did. Because I'd be fixing it. But I will research it when I get off. Um, I didn't realize that they had made... I knew they did an update. Because when I got up this morning, it said, Your Facebook is now updated. Okay. And I thought then, I always have problems after they do an update. So, we'll see. I'll try to figure it out. 
Some people are seeing it, Jess, and some people aren't. I had somebody say they shared earlier, so I know that they had a share button. I don't have one. You don't have one, so we'll see. I'll try to see if I can't get it fixed. So right now I'm doing the one of the highlighters, um, putting that over the brows to kind of get them a little bit lighter. Now I'm going to go back and just kind of block them in a little bit, give them some shape. A more distinct shape than what I've gotten right now. Just kind of, kind of outline them. I can't even talk like when I'm doing my brows because they're so, I'm just like in a zone trying to get things right. Does anybody else not see a share button? I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know why. The thing that's puzzling me the most is why some people have a share button and some people do not. And this is killing me on my brows. Because I look in this mirror that's right here. And my brows look, um, not great, but decent. And then I look in the phone and they look like fuzzy worms on my face. I mean, I'm just saying fuzzy worms because that's what it looks like to me. Fuzzy worms. I don't even know right now. I like, I don't even know. I can't even... I keep trying to go about them and fix them, and I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. So this is what you do. When you get fuzzy brows, you just take a cloth of some sort and just kind of ruffle them up and get them to lay better. Get them to blend better. There's some days I have this where I can't do, can't get them to blend and you know, I figured out the hard way that brows are like hair. I mean, they are hair, obviously, but like your hair on your head. You have good brow days and you have brow, brad, bad brow days. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. All right. Let's do some contouring. How about some contouring? So, I'm going to get my bronzer out here. Oh, my husband just messaged me and said, I don't have a share button either. I don't know what's going on. All right, so I'm going to use this brush. This is a shade darker that I typically wear of bronzer. It's Hermosa, and I always wear Sunset. But what I'm going to do is use this darker shade to kind of um, contour a little bit. So what I do... I'm putting my deck my face on a diet. Face is going on a diet. And I'm just pinching this brush to get more of a direct line down through there. My nose itches. <laughs> And then I'm going to go up here along my forehead just a little bit. Now, if your forehead was bigger, you would want to do a little bit more because it's going to shrink that area. It's going to make it, make it appear that it's shrunk. And then <clears throat> I'm going to do my nose. So right along the edges of my nose. And then over here a little. And I'll blend that out too. I'm going to blend all of it. So, powder brush. Okay. Top, 
bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top and bottom. Now, the setting powder that I used to set my foundation with, oh my goodness, why can't I get the top off? I'm going to have a mess. You got, oh, maybe not. I did good. I didn't spill it. <gasps> I need to order some more. I'm almost out. Dang it, man. All right. So I'm gonna clean this brush that I just used for my contouring real quick. And I'm using our handy dandy brush cleaner, which is now back in stock. Um, it should be arriving at our warehouse very, very soon. And then it will go out to the 45,000 people that ordered it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> It's true, 45,000. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit on the ends here and I'm gonna go directly under this right here. Just gonna pack it on and let that bake. What it does is basically just give you a more distinct but blended contour. It doesn't have to be setting powder that you do this with. It can be any powder. Um, just as long as it's light. All right, now I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Now I have made a mess on my desk. All right. So now I'm going to get my regular bronzer, Sunset. Clean this brush real quick because I use a different brush for it. Just a good face brush. You don't have to have a like a distinct bronzer brush, but just a good face brush is good. Bronzer's life, guys. Like, literally, life. I need to go ahead and put some eye primer on since I am getting ready to do my eyes. I want to make sure it has a few minutes to set up. So this is an eye primer. This is just like the face primer, except it's formulated for your eyes. It's good. It works with your eyeshadow. And it looks like I'm about out of this. Like I'm having a hard time getting it to squeeze out. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, I need to order some more of that too. Okay, so just a very little bit. And I'm going to put this all on my eyes. This will give you the most out of your eyeshadow. My nose, I wish it would quit. I'm gonna take my service medicine this morning. That may be a problem. Or my allergy medicine, I guess I should say. Not really my sinus medicine. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that set up. Now I'm gonna get some blush out. And I'm just gonna go with some sweet today. Oh, can't even get it out of here. So frustrating. Ugh. All right, so I'm just going to go with some sweet blush today. With our blushes, you want to make sure and shake off the excess because they're so pigmented. And now I'm going to go ahead and just dust off that, sh that powder. The excess powder. But do you see that you still have that? So you get that distinctness. Of, of your 
contour. I can't even think. All right, so that's done. Let's do some eyes. I'm using our February Kudos today, guys. These colors are unbelievable. Okay, unbelievable. They are once released, only time you're getting them, once they're gone, they're gone colors, okay? So if you do not have this February Kudos palette, you need to get it. It is 93% sold out worldwide. Literally. So what they did is they went into um, the warehouses or the countries that it wasn't selling <clears throat> or they had more of it um, and they distributed it evenly throughout all the warehouses. And it is 93% worldwide sold out. So it will, they're, they're projecting that it won't last until Saturday. Um, today's Thursday. That's two days. It's crazy. I'm so glad I got one. When it first came out, I was kind of like, mm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is lip exfoliator. I love it. It's, this is peppermint. It was one of our Christmas deals, but we have it on our normal website. Oh my gosh. I swear, I don't even know what I ever did without it. It gets all that dead skin off and just brings your lips back to life. Mm. Plus, they're so soft. Oh my gosh. Your lip um, stick and all that will look smooth. It's going to be so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's see. I want to do... I'm going to use our palette four <clears throat> for an all-over base color for this. And I'm going to use right here. It's called Tinder. I'm going to use my, my sponge. Sponge at the end of your... Um, Angled Shadow Sponge Brush is what I should say. That's the brush I'm using. Angled Shadow Sponge Brush. This tinder has like a little bit of a sparkle shimmer to it too. I don't even know if you guys can see that. But it's a, just a really good all over base color. I always like to use a base color. More of a brownish, tan, neutral base color. It's like I, for me, it just sets the palette. Like it just sets my clear palette for me to, to work from. Easy enough, right? Okay, now I'm going to use Adored, which is a very, very soft pink. And I'm going to be using, where's my, there it is, blending brush to put that on with. I'm going to clean it first, though. I mean, you guys, I cannot even tell you how much I use that brush cleaner. My brushes have probably never been this clean just because I've never cleaned them so much. But it's so easy now to clean my brushes. I love it. Okay, so I'm using Adored. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use it at the top here. Whoops. I just went into the wrong color. Ah! Brush cleaner. We're at it again. Look at this that I've just gotten off this brush. Just in this little time that I've been using this blending brush, that's everything that's come out of this brush from using that brush cleaner. Love it! So 
So if you're more of a um, soft eyeshadow wearer, this palette is for you. Because this Adore color that I'm using and then the Unwavering, which is the lighter color, are a beautiful, okay? Like, I cannot even scream it enough beautiful. And it's so soft pink, like, just gorgeous. Do you see that? I mean, how pretty is that? Just so soft and subtle. I love it. All right, so now I'm going to use my sponge to get it over here on the sides a little more. Y'all, this palette, oh my gosh. So amazing. It's beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to use the other side of this sponge, and I'm going to use that unwavering color, which is the, let me show you, this color here. And I'm going to take it right in the sides here and pull it out as like um, just kind of highlighting in that area a little bit. See? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. I just blend that in a little bit more on the bottom here, making sure that top is good to go. Oh, yes. Pretty. So pretty. Okay, so now I need to do some eyeliner, but I need something soft that's going to go right with the theme of what I'm doing here. So let's do some brown, just some very soft brown that needs to be sharpened. I keep my sharpeners all in a little baggie because I have the hardest time in the world finding them when I need them if I don't have them all together. Because I just lose them. Like, I just, I don't know what happens to them, honestly. I really don't, but... All right. So let's just do a little bit here. This is a very soft brown, and you really wouldn't have to do any eyeliner with a look like this that's so soft. I just like my eyes with an eyeliner, and I don't like my eyes without an eyeliner, okay? So, I want to use something Yes, so nice. Okay, so now I'm going to use this white on the bottom here. Kind of open my eyes up. Okay, so you can see this eye has a definite stopping point, okay? This eye does not. Like it opens them up and I love it. I love this white eyeliner. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff.
Okay, so now I'm going to get that Kudos palette back out, and I'm going to do under the eye shadow, I mean, under the waterline eye liner here with that same color that we used. I'm going to clean this brush real quick because I'm getting brown out of it right now. Wow. And it's clean. My goodness. I cannot even. Okay, I'm just going to shut up about the, the cleaner because it's, oh my goodness, amazing. Okay. Grab a mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. Under the waterline, we're going to do this, okay? And this is that um, adored color, so it's going to be not real distinct, but you'll be able to tell there's something there. Hmm? Hmm? I love it. It's so soft and so pretty. This would be perfect for like a young girl that's just starting with makeup. Because these pinks are so gorgeous and but they're so innocent. You know what I mean? Like so soft and beautiful. And I'm just taking the other end of that brush and just kind of smearing that out a little here. Okay. Let's do some mascara. I love mascara. <clears throat> Let me just pop my back again real quick. My back has been killing me the last two days. Killing me, killing me. All right, so now I'm using Epic Mascara. This is our one-step mascara. We have 3D Mascara, which is two-step, and Epic, which is one-step. Epic is my all-time favorite product that we have. I'm just a big mascara fan. And this is... because it is so good. Okay, so it will curl, separate, and lengthen your lashes. I shouldn't say that it does, it, it, it gives the appearance that it uh, lengthens. I have some uh, shoes on and I had to kick them off, my feet are, it's hot in here. This weather right now is killing me because it's so, it was warm. It's been warm the last couple of days here, like really warm. And then um, it started raining and it got a little cold. It's just, no wonder my allergies are in full effect. You know what I mean? Like it's, figure out what you wanna do. I mean, I, my vote is for it to just stay warm. Mother Nature's probably not gonna agree with me. But that's just my vote. All right, it's about time to open up a new tube of Epic because this one, I think, is almost empty. I've had this one four months, so. And I use it every day, every single day.
Like, even if I don't do a full face of makeup, I will at least put on mascara and eyeliner. Because I have went so many times, places, and not had any, like, mascara or eyeliner on. And somebody will say, are you sick? Do you feel good today? What's wrong? I mean, can I just come in here without any makeup on? That's just what I need to know. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, so you guys see, this is one coat of that Epic Mascara. Oh my gosh. Like, it just totally finishes the look. You know what I mean? Like, totally finishes it. Where's my... There it is. So now I use a blow dryer to blow dry my lashes so that they don't clump when I put on a second coat, okay? Just getting this temperature right. I'm not trying to burn any eyelashes off. Oh, it feels so good. And I just do like a few seconds on each side. I just blow upward to kind of get all those lashes dried. All right. So those are dry. Now I'm going to put on a second coat of Epic, and but I'm just going to do it from the middle lash out, okay? Because I don't, the bottoms have mascara on them. I just need to lengthen. That's what that second coat's for, is just to lengthen. And I always spin my wand every time I'm doing mascara to get make sure and get all that product off of the whole wand instead of just that one side. Do you see that? The difference? It's insane. And you know, my whole life, I've been, since I've been wearing makeup, I have been searching for a mascara that would do what Epic did. And when I first tried it the first time, I thought, oh my gosh, the Lord has answered my prayers. Because my eyelashes have never been anything to brag about, like honestly. And so I always looked for a mascara that would help that situation along. Could never get anything. I mean, I got something that did a little bit, but nothing like this. I mean, I don't know how many times I go in places and they're like, do you have fake eyelashes? I'm like, no. Let me just tell you about this mascara that I use. Because I went my whole life looking for this product. <laughs> finally found it. Somebody finally showed it to me. Like I said, you're just doing this from the middle lash out to the ends. Okay? Alright, guys. Yay. Done. Done with that mascara application. Eyes looking bomb. Brows looking on fleek. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to do a lip bonbon today for my lipstick because I just want something soft. <clears throat> something soft that will finish this look up perfectly. So I'm just going to use some pouty lip liner. Okay, pouty is done. Now I'm just going to use this lip bonbon. You also get this for free in your kudos. Look how pretty. Mm, 
just perfect. Let's do some highlighting real quick. So I'm using Optimistic Pressed Eyeshadow as my highlighter. And then I just do like this to kind of blend it together. And I'm going to go right here in the corners of my eyes. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, I am good to go. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. If you can share the video, I would greatly appreciate it. Some of you have a share button. Some of you do not. So if you do and you can do that, I would greatly appreciate it. It would be, it would mean the world to me because that's how I build my business and my network. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you have any questions about the products that you saw today, you can get them on my website or you can message me and I can help you. And I love you guys and I'll see you soon.